What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Today we've got Rodrigo Palacio for you. The Argentine beast is a monster on this game. Everyone had him at right wing, right mid, even right forward the guy is a machine. Now this Argentine ace is now a striker with this Inform card and that card looks simply stunning. Now it does come at a price, he is quite hefty price wise. 140 on the Xbox 360 and 160 on the PS3. He's got a four star skill move set and a three star weak foot. Now, like I was saying, his card stacks look brilliant. 89 pace, 89 pace. That is amazing for this card. He's got great shooting, great passing, and very good dribble. With 87, you can just scratch defending and heading off because you just don't need it at all. Now, alongside him up front, we have his Inter Milan partner in Diego. Melito, he is very good on this game. Now I'm going to go all Argentine here. He's going to be a kind of Argentine squad builder. In calm we have Javier Pastore who moved from Serie to PSG in order to help him become this global giant or whatever they're aiming for with all these superstars of Bayern like Zlatan Ibrahimovic and whatnot. On the left we have Gomez. That guy's card is actually brilliant. Four star skill moves on him. On the right I've done this guy's inform card. It's Nico Gaitan. I've had him at left mid. This card, his normal card, has always been a right midfielder. And he is brilliant there in CDM. You can't go wrong with this guy. Record number of appearances for Argentina, I think it is, and Inter Milan. At left back, we have another Argentine in the shape of Insua, the former Liverpool left back. He's now at Atletico Madrid after moving in January in at centre back then. On the left-hand side, we have Gary. He is a Benfica centre-back. I know his agent, where well, he's trying to hire an agent to push through and move to Manchester United. It'll be interesting to see if that happens. Alongside him, we have the Newcastle captain, Fabrizio Colaccini, who will be moving in the summer. I expect because he's not happy in England. Right back, we have Pablo Zabaleta. And in goal, finishing it off, we have Carrizo of Inter Milan. So it's a pretty decent squad. We've got a few Inter Milan players there. We've got four in total. And this is the man I will be looking at more closely now. Here are his in-game stats then. Ball control, superb. His dribbling is brilliant. Finishing, 95 finishing. 95. That's just amazing. He's got great penalties. His shot power is good. I've got to say this card is looking like one of the best inform cards I've had on this game. Just look at those physicals. Great sprint speed, great acceleration, so that pushes him to reach his top speed faster. His agility is good, his balance is brilliant, his attack and positioning, top notch. And the first game he did not disappoint in any way, shape or form. Nice little flick, got a bit lucky there, but he does finish nevertheless. Great little goal there after flicking it over his head and he goes on in this game to nab a hat full of goals he scored so many in this match this one is a little bit more simple but it just shows how good his finishing is and movement so on into the second half we go and it's Palacio again making all the run and he runs in behind and he comes so close with that delicate little chip it just hits the crossbar and the defender clears it but he didn't have to wait too long for that elusive hat trick as he runs through here nice little ball from Zanetti and it's one of the easier finishers he will get. Nice little step over before powering it in at that near post. Everyone raves about the near post overpowered efforts, but that was great. And this finish is amazing. <laughs> On Russian goalkeeper, and he's just chipped it over him. Great little ball though, through. I think it was from Pastore or Melito. And that finish is just amazing. The keeper's coming out, and he's just, with the slightest of touch, just chipped it over the keeper. Now, this goal is somewhat special. Back to goal on his weak foot. That's only a three star. And he does that. That's just wow. <laughs> it's like a sideway bicycle kick, sort of. It's just a move that I haven't done on this game, simply. Edge of the area. And he's managed to get the curl on it, the power on it. Enough to beat the keeper at that far post. Brilliant, brilliant goal. And that's five goals in the first game I've had him being in form trying him out he's nabbed five goals and in the second game he gets on the score sheet again that one probably the easiest of goals he will get for me he does nab a much better goal just look at this passes one he passes another and he just simply rolls it into the net 
my opponents, when you've got Palacio, they just don't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> Literally, they just kind of stop him. He's just a goal-scoring machine with that 95 finishing. He's great pace. He's great on the ball with the touch, and he can score from any angle whatsoever. That one, again, it's a bit more simple, but it's a nice little finesse past the goalkeeper. And he got that game off and running 10 minutes into the game. Now it's 2-2 on the clock. 2-2 on the clock, 2-2 <laughs> on the scoreboard, and again, it's just Palacio, it's all about power, it's all about pace, and that's just another great finish, now I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10, because he is just simply a stunning inform, definitely go by, definitely recommend this guy, and that is it for this episode guys, I hope you enjoyed it, drop a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next time.